Hi, my name is Allison and I'm part of the Skechers team. The Skechers team and I are from Into Ad. Thank you all so much for providing this amazing feedback that will help us with our final. You know, it, what we ended up doing was compiling all of the trending topics and listed them here for you. So now I'm going to go ahead and go over them. So as far as larger font, yes, we completely agree. We didn't realize that the font was going to turn out so small. Um, so that is the change that we are definitely going to make. Too much time on competitors. You know, this is something that we completely missed from the beginning, and we appreciate this feedback because now we know to cut the competitor's time by 10 to 15 seconds just to briefly discuss why they're different and how, we, how that information is going to help mold our marketing campaign. So we will be cutting that in half by, or even three times, um, much shorter than what we originally had just to uh, make sure we note that. So thank you so much for that. As far as concerns, uh, expanding our customer base. We're going to be discussing this further later in our presentation, but we're not actually going to expand our customer base. What we're doing is moving our bracket over to the right. So instead of it staying in the 18 to 24, where a lot of the marketing campaigns that are currently out by Skechers appeals to that bracket, or maybe even younger, we're going to move it out to the older generation, maybe even baby boomers. So that's what we were going to do with our, our customer base. And as far as young athletes, yeah, we agree with that. That was something that um, New Balance currently does, where they appeal to a lot of the high schoolers. So that, that may not be our future marketing campaign uh, objective. So you're right, this is a major concern, and we decided as a team not to move forward with that, appealing to the younger um, athletes for the purposes of this marketing campaign. So let me go ahead and make a check mark of that because I want to show that we are making note of all of um, the feedback, that we take it very seriously, and we are going to be integrating all of that into our final. Moving on, improvement, chart animation. So yes, we just started learning the tools. So you know, a lot of it is new to us, but we will definitely make improvements. That is something that um, we took it as a lesson learned and it'll be significantly improved by our final. Uh, as far as high quality pictures, um, for sure. We will make note of the high quality pictures so that they are clear and a little bit more visible for the audience, as I hope this video is also. As far as the Nike video, um, this was a comment by our professor, um, and the reason we put it up here with all of the students' feedbacks was because we weren't sure if the feedback, if the video was also confusing to the students. Uh, it was actually a Skechers um, video. It was one that was recently released and we wanted to showcase it because we wanted to show that Skechers is now improving and starting to compete against more the more athletic type of, um, type of brand. So it's not a Nike video, it's a Skechers video. As far as the agenda slide, completely agree. We missed the mark on that and we do apologize for that for just starting the presentation as is along with um, not presenting ourselves as a team. So just want to make note that we are taking this seriously and if I've used a word such as definitely, of course, and all of that, I just want to let you know that we definitely take all of this into consideration and the fact that this is all going to be improvements that we make to our final is um, something that we want to thank you all. This section will be our PowerPoint presentation and this will include our professor's feedback uh, in all of our slides. First of all, I want to thank you and introduce myself and my team. My name is Allison Webster and my team consists of Penny Dye, Xiao Shin Fu, Umberto Gatti, and again, I'm Allison Webster.
In our presentation, we will be discussing the company background, the brand audit, consumer research, marketing communication evaluation, the SWOT analysis, and ending it with strategy recommendation. I will pass it over to Penny Dye. Thank you, Allison. In this part, I'm going to make a response to professors' questions regarding to the Skechers company background. Firstly, who are the father and son who started the Skechers company, and what was their story? Skecher is an American shoe company headquartered in Manhattan Beach, California, which is not too far away from here. Founded by its CEO Robert Greenberg and his son Michael in 1992. After Robert left LA Gear, which he had founded in 1983, the Greenbergs set up Skechers as a distributor for Dr. Martens. Skechers' early products were utility-style boots and skate shoes. The company has since diversified to include thousands of athletic, casual, and dry styles for men, women, and children. And the second question is how the Skechers company is organized. So now I am going to briefly introduce the four product lines of Skechers and provide rationale for focusing on the two performance product lines, Go Run and Go Walk. The Skechers company offers two distinct footwear categories, a lifestyle division which includes Skechers memory form and the charity line box from Skechers. And the other division of Skechers is Skechers performance, which includes Skechers Go Run and Skechers Go Walk footwear. Through licensing agreements, the Skechers company also offers branded apparel, bags, watches, airwear, toys, and so on and so forth. The reason we chose Go Run and Go Walk is that they are newly launched product lines of Skechers compared with the product lines of lifestyle division. For example, the Go Run product line has been launched only four years ago. From our point of view, the Go Run and Go Walk product line still needs a large scale of marketing promotion. And also, we see that it is a very promising division as Skechers Performance ranks the third in the athletic shoe category in the U.S. in 2014. For the brand audit part, we should have provided the rationale for picking Nike and Adidas as our top competitors. Firstly, we did company research online. We find some reliable sources such as Hoover's and Forbes. According to this website, the top two competitors of Skechers performance divisions, um, Nike and Adidas. And also from our results of the consumer research, the, re the results also suggest that Nike and Adidas are our major competitors. For example, several respondents of our interviews said that they were very loyal to Nike or Adidas. Thank you, Penny. Now on to our consumer research. Professor Andrew, we were a little bit concerned about the type of information we needed to include um, for our observation interviews and sentiment analysis. You wanted to know what did we discover. Uh, due to our time constraint, we, we want to make sure we include the right information you're looking for. Um, so that was a question we had there. As far as the um, the better to discuss mean than the first and second. We completely agree that was a statement under the consumer research. We will discuss the mean rather than the ranking mean. On to our next slide. So the description was describe the methodology. So what we found for a methodology section, um, we found that our observation, our interview, and our survey was not clearly defined or discussed in our midterm. So in our slide, you will find that our observation for Skechers, we went to 
to retail stores, shopping malls, department stores. And um, we were able to observe 30 customers from all three different locations. In addition to that, we also conducted interviews at gyms, common shopping areas, and, um, and that was with 20 customers in the ages of 20 to 40 plus. The surveys conducted were for 47 um, responses and they were all valid responses. Um, the set of brands for the survey designs are competitors in the athletic shoe category according to major research websites such as Hoover, Redbook, and Forbes. And then on to our sentiment analysis. We used Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Zappos.com, and that was for the month of September. Okay, the final slide for consumer research. One of the questions that Professor Andrea asked, which was a great question, was how did you choose the set of brands for the survey findings? Well, we chose the set of brands um, through the market research websites that we mentioned earlier. Those were the top brands that uh, Hoover, Ibis, Redbook, and Forbes considered competitors to Skechers. Insight from our consumer research, which can support the strategy, observation, um, that's really where we were able to gain a lot of the information on what targeted audience we should go after. The targeted audience, based on our observation, were mid middle age consumers with families that were attracted to the Skechers brand. Um, based on our research, comfort and quality were key among every targeted audience, but mostly through the middle age, which we consider Generation X. Limitations, um, yes, that was something that we put at the end of our of our presentation and you know that was our oversight that we made a mistake so we apologize and we will make sure to put it in our consumer research. Limitations were time of day, sample size, and location. Thank you Allison. So moving on to our marketing communication evaluation part um, the professor asked us how did we determine with Skechers intended target, target audience. Actually, we determined it by the market research information from Hoover's, Forbes, Redbooks, and in addition from the marketing campaigns um, for the performance division from Skechers, we can see that the characters uh, in the commercials are all young adults. Uh, in terms of the retired athletes part, actually we misspoke about this part. Um, we found out that the retired athletes actually come from the lifestyle division um, print ads. So sorry about that. We will be more careful next time. Um, in terms of our SWOT analysis part, um, we realized that some of our content, um, for example, the distribution information, belongs in the company info section. So we also have oh, we also have too many unnecessary details included in the SWOT analysis. So we um, made a second version of our SWOT analysis as follows. Um, as for strength. We think that high quality and comfort and performance are the strengths of Skechers athletic shoes. Um, we think so because uh, we can see those five-star uh, reviews on Zappos on Amazon and also there are many positive reviews uh, regarding these shoes on YouTube videos. As for the weakness, um, we think that different versions of Skechers logo is one weakness, and it also lacks of uh, it also lacks consumer interactions through social media platforms, <clears throat> because 
there are few followers、um, of Skechers compared to Nike. Um, to be more specifically, Nike has 21 million likes on Facebook page. Adidas have、um, 18 million likes on its Facebook page, but Skechers only have one million. And another weakness we found is that the design of Skechers athletic shoes is not appealed to、um, target audience, which are young adults. And this is based on our consumer research results. For the opportunity part, we think that e-commerce and online marketing is a great opportunity for Skechers, and also Generation X,、um, which is、uh, people aged thirty-four to fifty-four, are also opportunities for、um, Skechers target audience, and also the Go Walk and Go Run product lines、um, are are. One of the opportunities because people can wear them all day long. As for the threats, we think that the giant competitors,、uh, such as Nike and Adidas, are、um, Skechers threats, and also the growing competition in lower profitability in athletic shoes、um, category is also a threat. Regarding our strategy recommendations part, we,、um, as as、uh, Andrea has pointed out, we mixed how we will accomplish our recommendations in our strategies part. So we also made a second version of it.、Um, firstly, in the positioning part, we think that we state our positioning as comfort, high quality athletic shoes for daily wear. And secondly, for our targeting, we、um, turned the intended target from、uh, aged eighteen to twenty-four to our new target of thirty-four to fifty-four. The rationale for this change is that this target would be different from Nike's and Adidas,、uh, since Nike is targeting at.、Um, Age、uh, people aged eighteen to forty, and Adidas is targeting people aged twenty to twenty nine, twenty nine years old. And、uh, finally, for our communication objective, we、uh, we have included knowledge and like、uh, liking in our.、Um, In our midterm presentation, but we now are aware that it's best to stick to one communication objective. And since knowledge come before liking, so we choose knowledge as our communication objective. We are aware that we have included lots of words in the PowerPoint for our feedback session, but since、um, We think it's more clear if we just list out points we want to make.、Um, we hope you don't mind. And to sum up, we know that、uh, we need to include all the detailed information in our final project, but we actually did not realize we should also list all the, these informations、um, in our midterm presentation. So that is why we、uh, received so many suggestions from our professor. And that is also why we have included so much information in this presentation. The NTS Catchers team thanks you all for your feedbacks and recommendations.